What's up, my party people? It's your boy, Darshan Smith, back again for another episode of the Positivity Hour. Today, we'll be talking about grind culture and uh, how I fall victim to it, I guess. And um, yeah, most importantly, what it is, you know, how can you overcome it and how can you uh, take steps to uh, not participate, you know. Uh, but yeah, it's episode 69 of the Positivity Hour. Very nice. And um, yeah, roll the intro and let's get straight to it. Woo! All right, now that the intro has rolled, I mean, for you, it was like a minute and a half, but for me, it was like zero seconds, and uh, yeah, Spongebob. A few moments later. All right, uh, now we're back, so you could say, and yeah, let's just hop straight into this. So objectively speaking, we're just going to talk about, you know, how I'm doing today, how I've been doing over this last week, how do I fall victim of grind culture, we loop back around, what is grind culture, and then finish with how can you, the viewer or listener, not participate in the system you know and like i say all the time i tell people what i need to tell myself and being that i really did just work 70 hours and 15 minutes in the last two weeks um as a full-time college student i think i have an addiction to working grind culture and more you know that's a good thing, you know, it just kind of sucks because, like, of what we'll get into, but before we, you know, I'm a cliffhanger that, but before we get into anything more, um, let's just hop straight into, you know, like I said, how I've been over this last week, uh, I've been pretty good, you know, I've been great, actually, um, a big thing that happened this week is, uh, I'll, I'll show everyone who's watching on the camera, but I'll just say it to everyone else, as you can see, because, you know, my, my lens is not the widest, but it's not, like, not the widest. Um, I got a new camera, okay? I'm not going to use it to record these videos, but as you can see, this is a Sony a7 III. Um, does this camera cost as much as my car? Yes. But, hey, I did actually get a new camera, so that's pretty cool. Um, uh, got it for pictures, got it for other things. I don't know how it works yet, really, um, but that's why I got it, because, you know, I'm just trying to level up and, you know, and, uh, you know, fund my or not fund, uh, but invest in myself, you know, um, one of the last videos, you know, was about, you know, investing in yourself or what have you, and this is literally it, you know, uh, or a version of investing in yourself, literally, because I, I don't know, I'm about to shoot a wedding, so maybe I, I think having the best quality of things is, uh, you know, cool, though I do know I did not need it, uh, though I wanted it anyway, so it was a good way to not only justify it, but a good way to, like, practice, so I can, like, do more things, because, you know, I, I got, I got dreams, goals, aspirations, I got, you know, businesses I'm trying to, I want, I want to start, you know, I got, I got money I'm trying to make, and I just, you know, I'm just trying multiple streams of income, so I can, you know, be financially free out here, um, but yeah, so overall, this last week, I've been good, uh, pretty productive, uh, at moments of not being productive, uh, my bad habit of procrastination is slowly getting better and it needs to get drastically better over the summer because one i need to make a lot of money and then two uh i gotta do a lot of research and then three this upcoming fall is about to be oh my lord um uh, yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a uh, busy busy one you know i'm only taking 12 semester hours that being said though it still is going to be action-packed it's gonna be busy and I'm still doing marching band. So it, I, I, on paper, I'm doing 12 semester hours, but band should really be like three or four semester hours. So in reality, I'm taking like a low key, like a legitimate 15 for the first time ever, instead of like the 15, 16 it was, but then it was banned. It low key was dang, the dang near 20, okay? Um, drink some water today. You know, today I'm finishing off this uh, this buy antioxidant thing right here. These are pretty good. Low calorie and such, you know. Get, 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 get your amino acids, okay? Th th those are good for breaking down proteins and things, you know. But don't be afraid to drink actual water. This is another thing I'm trying to, like, stop. Or a thing I've noticed is I'm a big, a big fan of, like, carbonated water or just, like, flavored waters in general. And 
when I buy those things, I just casually stop drinking normal tap water or even like the bottled water I have in the trunk of my car. I just stop drinking it and I just only drink the flavored water, you know? And is it bad? No, because objectively speaking, you're still drinking the water, but it could be better because now you're drinking all like the sodium and the other little additives and things they put in there to actually like make the flavor like super like i said super objectively speaking you only need actual water to be like healthy and out here so um yeah going forward i just plan to like you know do that a little bit more and um just i just try to you know I, I just try to, you know, always level up, you know, I've been doing my pushups, I, you know, I fall off a couple days, but hey, uh, I, I've been working on, since I can actually like do like legitimate pushups now, I've been, you know, less worrying about how many I can do and more like the technique of an actual pushup, so if I could do like 10 crappy ones and like, oh, if I can only do like three like textbook pushups, like now I'm focusing more on like the three and I'll just do like, I'll do three then, I'll space it out like an hour later, I'll do three more, or maybe I'm feeling so I'll, I'll, I'll do four okay because a quote that i'm like living by right now oh my lord okay i was watching kung fu panda 3 okay i'm not gonna lie big fan of kung fu panda because they just put it on netflix so i watched uh watched like the ending half you know the in last, last fight scene it's a good one and uh you know but in the beginning master shifu said the quote i'm living by and then this is this is sadly like this plays into the whole gr a grind culture thing but like i said it's 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 not a bad thing if if used correctly with great power comes great responsibility but master shifu you know the little like red panda looking thing um he says if you only do what you can do you will never be more than you are now okay that is a fire quote one and two like i said i've been living that uh, way of life and you know it's really it, it, it can catch up with you at times but like i said uh all of that plays into the whole concept of the grind culture thing so uh starting off with the, the whole grind culture meat and potatoes part of this uh episode of the positivity hour um what is grind culture so i got my phone here and i'm just reading like the uh generic definition off of google and then we're going to talk about it and we're just going to we're going to break it down okay so grind culture okay grind culture is the idea that status is achieved by always being quote on or available end quote no matter where you are or what you're doing you're hustling okay think about you're reachable you know the first thing you do when you wake up is check and respond to emails you are the first at the office and the last to leave things of this nature these are you know the, the this, that's grind culture okay pretty much go 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 okay and do i do that yes okay now the emails think no okay i see my work email i don't respond to it though you know um i see open shifts i could work but do i work them no some of them i'm forced to work okay i'm not gonna lie like because it's just the nature of my position i'm the dispatching bionic supervisor at canvas you know uh, i i have somewhat of a higher up role in the organization and it just so happens that like grind culture is literally built into my job description um uh, if if a shift is open or uh what have you and it's specifically a dispatch shift i i'm responsible to cover it you know which like i would say is a is a pretty big glaring like red flag in my job description especially as a full-time college student taking seven classes um for this semester not to mention it's the week before finals week and like we're all just busy and i this is open dispatch closed shift tomorrow and i don't want to work that but like objectively speaking am i gonna have to work it yeah because no one else wants to work it and i'm the supervisor so um i'm expected to be always on you know did i know this going into the position most definitely and this is just one example of grind culture you know like my actual literal literal uh can bus job okay you can see the little can bus i have on the screen you know university of iowa parking transportation oh come on focus back on the focus back on the bus thing rip it is it is struck there we go there we go um yeah but man my actual like nine to five i can say it's a nine to five okay i just worked 35 hours okay for two weeks pretty much okay it was terrible okay i'm not gonna lie, the check about to be huge <laughs> it might be a lot of money but like geez i can't i like although the money is great i don't want to make all my money in life by selling my hours ultimately speaking like if i'm trying to do the grind culture thing i'm trying to grind for passive income you know that's why i said uh or like just like 
things I can do on the side that don't take as much as my time, you know, per se, that, that just like literally just pay more. So like, whether that be like the photography business, the clothing business, or, you know, the, the real estate uh, business or the, uh, you know, transportation thing, uh, research I'm doing or like, what have you, you know, the books, you know, I, I got, I got a lot of my agenda. I got a lot I want to do, you know, but the thing I constantly remind myself to like, think about is like the, the, the way to like work away from being a participant in the modern society of grind or the modern modern so societal concept rather of grind culture is you can do whatever you want in this world you just can't do it all at the same time and like that's my own like internal struggle or my own like internal battle um and i i was i i, I do i do make time you know i, I was literally just talking to my mom uh, about you know making time for myself and such you know and I, I i don't okay i definitely fall victim of just like you know uh you know either prioritizing others or just like always working or always doing school like i, I never just like take a day off to take a day off like one literally because i can't like 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 i i don't think i actually literally just can i, I work every day of the week like it's kind of bad and um two hopefully that'll change over the summer uh but three i actually did last night okay i went to casa Zul's uh with some people uh i don't drink or anything so like i i, I was i was like the designated driver at that point but like um i um a guy i spent like two hours you know there with some with some other humans having some real interaction because you know i don't really have friends like that and i don't really like uh socialize with too many people like and i i, I literally just wake up i go to work i go to school i go home so that's about it um, but primarily, I just do that because, you know, I'm trying to be rich in life. I'm trying to be educated in life. I'm trying to be not normal. I'm trying to be super deviant. I'm trying to achieve all of my goals. Because as I just said, the work around from getting away from grind culture, which, which is the idea that status is achieved by always being on or available, is realizing that sometimes you just need to take a break. And then two, you can do anything and whatever you want in life. You just can't do it all at the same time. So, like, that's a big thing. You know, like I said, I'm trying to work on because uh, I got you, you, my, my dream boards up here are full. And I want to add like four more because, you know, I want to be everything. I want to be a rapper. OK, I'm trying try to be a rapper. I want to be a, a poet. Uh, I, I, this is how you know I need to be rich in life. OK, I, I need to have the free time to do literally everything. I've, I have so many dreams, goals and aspirations. And it's like, bro, like I'm, I'm telling you, I, I'm woken up from the Matrix enough to know that if I get rich, oh yeah, it's game over. It's game over. It's, it's game over. We we doing this, okay? Um, but yeah, and it's not it's not if it's when, okay? Uh, that's another thing, you know. But uh, we we will we will get into that later. But yeah, so that is yeah. I gave you the definition of grind culture. I gave you a workaround for it. I even gave you the personal example of mine. So tell me what you think. You know, uh, I really do need to write a paper or my two papers at th three. For I don't I need to write a lot of papers and I still actually have to go back to work today before I even have to like come in for that dispatch if no one else wants to take um unfortunately I still need to go home at the, uh, also I need to get my car tags but um yeah exclu outside of all of that like I said tell me what you think about this you know do you do you fall victim of you know grind culture you know whether you're an athlete or whether you're trying to be an academic scholar like myself or whether you're like a financial analyst like do you take time to you know take a step back and look at the bigger picture or you know prioritize other things in this world like you know moment in, moments and times with your family or you know just having a day off where you can just you know sit and do nothing or having a day off to where you can focus on the side hustle or learning a new skill or what have you you know um I, th these are all things you know I, I just think about and things uh, people around me just always think about and ultimately like like i was saying i just me personally I i'm just trying to be super successful in life and um i'm trying to be in the one percent you know not just monetarily speaking uh though you don't even need a million dollars to be in the one percent but um like i said um I i'm trying to be in the one percent like education wise i'm trying to be in the one percent like social speaking wise i'm trying to be in the one percent monetarily i'm trying to be in the one percent in like all metrics and categories you know that are possible and like to just to do that literally to be above 99 percent of people you literally have to do what 99 percent of people aren't willing to do and you know that that at times just calls for sacrificing things like i said i don't have friends you know um 
I'm kind of weird. Okay, if you didn't know, but hey, at least I could talk to a camera, and so that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, at least I make money doing it. So ah, oh, better than you. But um, yeah, I'm just joking. We're all, we're all the same at the end of the day. I'm just I'm just a random guy. Okay, I'm just I'm just uh like like uh you know you ever see the movie It Man? Uh, they were like, who are you? He's like, I'm just a Chinese man. You know, T stay humble, y'all. Uh, it's been real. This is your boy Darshan Smith. Make sure you like, subscribe, unsubscribe, hate, comment, follow, unfollow, share, report. I don't care what you do, as long as you're staying positive. At the end of the day, uh, that's all. That's all we can ask for. So, uh, yeah, I still don't have the sound effect over here. I, got, I still got the, you know, I can, I can, I can beat myself, but that's about it. So, uh, see y'all next time, and uh, we out. 15 minutes down. We good. We're... Yes. Goodbye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>